There are several reasons why, at this stage, Barclays has identified that fertility-related stocks are actually seeing growing interest among the investment community. Traditionally, money managers have been skeptical about getting exposure to these companies due to high costs and limited access for the general population. However, Barclays highlighted four reasons why this is now changing. These include, first and foremost, broader fertility policy approaches, as we were discussing there with some government approaches changing here, suggesting that at the end of the day, families are having access to these treatments more and more. On top of that, companies are also increasingly offering fertility benefits, particularly in the United States, where fertility policy lags compared to Europe. On top of that as well, assisted reproduction is also getting destigmatized and a number of fertility tech startups are coming up with innovative products and services. Now, this shift in narrative is also shedding light on a number of companies that offer solutions from pre-care, such as financing, all the way to post care. So I want to mention some of the companies in the, this context too. These include Merck, they have reproductive health and fertility products. There's also pregnancy monitoring and ovulation treatments with Siemens Elfineers and parental care and nurseries with Bright Horizons. Now, analysts at Barclays also highlighted that this trend is likely to grow further with fertility-related M&A and IPOs potentially on the horizon too. So it seems